Okay guys, welcome back. It's swing tick time and we are going to be using this ball to talk a little bit about how the arms rotate and how you can possibly control your club face a little bit more uh, through that impact area. Okay, so as you guess, we're not going to be doing sort of basketball uh, lessons. Definitely not from me anyway. That was probably about take 25 to get that in from that distance. Uh, but we're going to talk a little bit about how these sort of arms and the hands sort of make that rotation movement. It's something you can do at home with a simple ball, whether it's a beach ball or a football. Um, I've got a basketball here just with some logo in on it here so we can get a, an idea. You've got some with different colours that are even better again. So we're going to talk a little bit about how these sort of arms rotate through that goal swing. So obviously if we get into a position where we hold the, uh, the, the basketball or the ball like that with the logo sort of facing sort of away from you, okay, we can maybe sort of see as we sort of make a back swing now how this logo is going to sort of now start to point more in that direction. So it can give us a lot of ideas of how we move. So if we get a little bit too much where the right hand gets on top in that early part of the, of the back swing, and see this happen with a lot of golfers, you can see the, the logo still points out in front of me. So that would essentially be a closed club face position. Vice versa, if we get sometimes what we see golfers get a little bit sort of rolling of the arms too early. So when that happens now, the logo is now pointing behind me. So that would be sort of opening or fanning that club open. So if we can get a nice sort of position where the logo is pointing forward, we move it back and it's just sort of pointing still slightly forward but more of an upward direction, then that's a very sort of neutral sort of position to be in. Now obviously coming back into that impact area, we would like to sort of get the Club, uh, the ball back into that position where that again that logo is going to be facing again back towards yourselves or back towards that camera and, and the same as we've worked through with the body now we can start to let the arms rotate and that logo again it's going to be pointing more upwards more square uh, club face position so sometimes we see golfers get a little bit handsy a little bit armsy or not enough rotation of the hands and arms and holding that club face open depending on your situation depending on what shot shape you tend to sort of see so typically we will maybe see slices maybe get a little bit more active going back so rolling it open you haven't got then time to get it back in, into a square position so then they come more into this point here where you can see now the logo is pointing sort of behind there so the club face is going to be open and it's more into that sort of position there where you can see again the logo still pointing forward. Vice versa, the guys who maybe start to hook it a little bit more, you can see they might, be, they might sort of take the club back and get that sort of right shoulder, right arm on top a little bit more. The logo points more again towards the camera, so that will be a closed club face position. Then as you come through, maybe start to get a little bit too rolling of the arm. So now the logo is pointing way behind me. Okay, so you can see a lot of rotation of the arms. You'll see how the right arm's really wrapped over my left arm at that point there and, and obviously that's going to get a, a lot of rotation in that club face so simple thing if just trying to feel like you're going to pass that ball down the line a little bit like a rugby ball in a way isn't it you know you're going to sort of from here you're going to take the ball and you're going to pass the ball down the line watch what happens to the body when i do that so if somebody throws the ball to me there and you could even get somebody to do this throw the ball and i'm going to then pass the ball Look what happens to the body, look what happens to the rotation. Or just hit the camera. Um, you know, I turn through, I shift my way, I release and throw that ball down that line. Really good sort of drills to get that body working as you would do in that goal swing. So what you wouldn't do as you if you're throwing a ball down the line, you wouldn't sort of receive the ball there and sort of go like that, would we? You know, the body's not wet, shifted its weight, the arms have just made that movement. You know, we'd take the ball, we would shift, we would rotate and then we would release that ball as we would throw it down that line. As you build that in with the logo, it gives you a good idea of where that face is through that downswing. Okay guys, so there we go, simple ball. Give you an idea of what we're doing with the rotation of the arms and the hands, but also a little bit of the body, how we're gonna throw it. You know, whether you get your family involved here and get a bit of a line working down there, and you're just gonna pass it, release the ball, that should give you some real good feelings of what we're going to do in this, in this sort of downswing. So post your comments down below, let me know your thoughts, any feedback in terms of what you would like me to sort of cover in my isolation swing tip series. Getting a lot of good feedback from you guys. I think you're all enjoying this as you're stuck at home and um, trying to think of stuff to do. So I'd love to sort of see your setups at home. If you've got a golf setup, 
happening with a bit of a net like I've done here then love to sort of see some pictures so jump onto either Twitter uh, or Instagram and sort of tag me in and with your pictures and um, would be great and maybe hashtag it in your golf garden setup okay love to hear your and see your sort of setups you've got happening at home and how you're sort of keeping your golf swing going how you keep yourself entertained through this difficult period okay hopefully everybody stay safe if you haven't subscribed just go jump down there click the subscribe button ring that bell for any future notifications and hopefully it will catch up with you all very soon one shot one take